Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the show us your sheet load video. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The Show Us Your Sheet Load video is one of my favorites to make each month. I just love seeing the wonderful cards that my subscribers send in and I enjoy sharing them with you all. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature, but sometimes I do get cards just because and I will be sharing those as well. If you would ever like to send in a card for the end of the month video or a card just because, my PO box is at the bottom of the description box below and I do have a show us your sheet load guidelines video that tells you how you can submit your cards. Why don't we go ahead and open my mail? Before we get to the mail, I have a fun announcement and invitation for you. If you are watching this video on maybe the first or second day that it goes live, I wanted to let you know that I have been invited to participate in the World Card Making Day Hop and Zoom Party here on YouTube. This event is on Saturday, October 1st, starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. Every 20 minutes, you will hop along to a new artist who will be sharing a technique or a process video or just their projects. Not only are you going to get lots of crafty inspiration, but there are also prizes. To find out more about the event, I will link Amanda's blog post in the description box below and I will also have a link to my live video so you can set a reminder to join us. The first two cards are from KDD in Canada and I just had to share how she mails these. Each card was inside of a clear envelope with the stamp and label and then to cover the card up she put just in a piece of pattern paper and here are the two cards that she has shared. They each look like joy fold cards but you'll see the one on the left it doesn't have a second card on the inside and the one on the right does. I love your envelopes Katie and your cards. Thank you so much. This next card is from a special lady in my life, and that is Gloria J. from Iowa, aka my mom. She used the September 2022 sheet load to create this mini slimline card, and I like how she has added that extra decoration to the inside. Lisa R. from California sent in this gorgeous card that used the June 2022 sheet load and it was a joy fold card and it's kind of hard to see on screen but it has such a fun shine with some holographic paper for the mats and for that hello die cut. Thank you Lisa. Next up is a gorgeous card from Kristen of Wisconsin and she has used another one of the fun fold card editions of sheet load. This is from October 2019. She wrote the most kind note inside. Thank you so much, Kristen, and thank you especially for becoming a channel member. Your support is greatly appreciated. Christina M. from Illinois sent in two cards this month. On the right is that fun mini slim card from the September 2022, and on the left is a little twist on the August 2022. I'm loving those snowmen on the Christmas one. Thank you, Christina. The Joyful Card Edition from June 2022 seems to be a popular one this month. Cheryl S. from Utah also used it to create this Halloween or pumpkin patch card. She used a couple oldie but goodies here. One was the packing tape technique and she added some eyelets. Thank you, Cheryl. 
Carmen B. of Colorado used the September 2022 sheet load to create these two wonderful examples. I'm loving the wood berry accent on the card on the right, and on the left, she turned the cow card into a gift card holder. And she left me something special on the inside. Thank you so much, Carmen. It definitely was not necessary, but is much appreciated. Now, if you don't already follow Carmen here on YouTube, her channel is Choose Joy with Carmen, and I will make sure to link it in the description box below. I know that she would love a subscribe, and I know that you'll love her creations. Vicki R. from Oklahoma also used September 2022, and she created a nautical-themed birthday card. I love that sailboat on the focal point and how you found an alternative place for your sentiment. Thanks for sharing, Vicki. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin created this cute dragonfly card using the July 2022 sheet load. I like how she has added those glitter enamel dots to the body of the dragonfly as well as sprinkled them around the card. Thank you, Yvonne. Not only did Sharon M. of Indiana create a gorgeous card using the August 2022 sheet load of cards, she also made a fabulous matching envelope. I love the bees and the sunflowers. Thank you, Sharon. Mary G. of Missouri sent me some fun with two ends mail. She created this card after watching an episode of Oh So Inspired. And when I was looking at it, I'm like, those butterflies seem like they have leaves or petals as wings. And yes, if you look close enough, each of those butterfly wings is a separate stamped and cut out piece. So fun. Thank you, Mary. Iona S. from Washington sent in two cards this month. On the left is a very cute example using August 2022, and on the right is a card using September 2022. I just love that fun little hippo. Thank you, Iona. Up next is a package of goodness from my crafty Irish friends. Rita has shared six cards using the September 2022 sheet load, and I love on hers how she used that fun shape for the tent topper. Thank you, Rita. Trish D has shared a sheet load of September as well with these fun and bright hello cards. I am loving the little focal points on the top, and you know my favorite is that star with the rainbow tail, and in the center is a card she made without a tent topper with a little note inside. Thank you so much! Karen C. from Virginia is participating in a little rewind this month. On the top left and top right, she has created slim lines using the September 2020 sheet load, and on the bottom right, she has used the September 2021. I love how you rotated that one on the top and those beautiful papers. Speaking of the rewind, up on screen now is the set I made this month. I will have the video linked in the description box below. I made this set of rainbow hello cards and I showed you how to decorate the inside so you're left with barely any scraps. Barb S. from Florida sent in four cards this month. On the left are two examples using the September 2022 sheet load. I am especially loving that tree on that tent topper. Fall is my favorite. And then you have an August and a July example as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to send these in, Barb. I see you're from Florida, so I hope that you and your family are staying safe. And just a shout out to everyone else watching this who might be in Florida or have family members in Florida, I am keeping you in my thoughts. Lori K. from Minnesota sent in five cards this month. Four of them use various sheet loads, and the one in the top left uses a Jess Crafts template. Inside that card was such a touching message. Lori, I am definitely going to keep you in my thoughts as well. I hope things start to look up for you. In that card, she did mention that she enjoyed my collaboration with Jess Crafts. If you haven't seen that, I will link that video in the description box below. Thank you, Lori, and once again, please take care. 
Now I think you know why I just love to make this video. Not only do I get tons of beautiful cards, but some of the notes inside are just so special and I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to make and send in cards and add those additional notes. If you enjoyed today's show us your sheet load, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And until my next one, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.